Hello everybody, Steady Claudio here and we're back in the Supermarket Simulator and it's day two. That was a message about expenses, you'll have daily expenses. So I'm going to put, on, put in an order for today, day two. I'm going to get two cereals, a bread and a pasta. We need one more checkout to get to 25 and get to our objective. So we're going to go ahead and go on out and pick up our goods, put them on the shelf, and open up for the day. This is day two. I wish that that mechanic wasn't there when you had to throw away the box. It's kind of strange, but I guess it's fine. Once you get somebody else running the register, it probably won't be as big of a hassle as it seems right now. Especially since I'm closed. Okay, so we're gonna, oh, we got one more. Cereal. So we didn't change any of our prices from yesterday, day one. Got to use another display. I guess as soon as it, it automatically knows the price. So we're going to go ahead and throw it in the trash. Open up for the day. See if we can get a customer. So we can get our objective done. Or we've done 25 checkouts. Come on, somebody. Here we come. First customer of the day. Oh, I was going to buy a pasta. So that'll get us our 25 checkouts. Bingo. So now the next objective is to purchase a product license. So I think for the product license, I'm going to need about $200. Yep. I am not even close to that yet. I only have $31.88. So we're going to go ahead and speed this up and go through our, the rest of the day with our checkouts. See if we can get our $200. Um, A product license. So I think it's pretty slow in the morning. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of customers in there. So we're gonna order up some more stuff. Gonna get some oil. Yeah, I think day two that should be all the ordering we have to do. I think it's better when you don't have a cashier to order stuff up yourself. Or to order everything before you open. So I got to do a couple customers here. I don't know if they get mad if they have to stand there for very long. I'm not sure. I don't think they do. So far I haven't had any customer complaints. So let's go out here real quick get this oil. I mean it does give you a message. I think when a customer is waiting. Yeah, the customer is waiting for checkout. You gotta take out the trash, which is something I wish they'd do away with. And I'm gonna do a price. So you see, it cost me a buck fifty. Market price is four fifty, so I'm gonna do it for four bucks. So now we're gonna go ahead and speed it back up again. Doing all our checkouts for the day. Selling a lot of pasta, bread. More bread. So what we got here? Pasta. What are we up to? About a hundred and fourteen dollars. Still a long ways from two hundred. I think I need to raise my prices up to more closer to the market. Well, again, I struggle to find the light. My shelves are almost empty. All I have is cereal left. 
we're almost at the end of day two and I think I'm just going to do a video each day that way it will not be a 30 minute video but a five or six or seven or eight minute video I'm sure they're going to get longer when I have more to do so we're up to about 174 182 we're not going to make 200 today I don't think but we also have to order some more stuff for tomorrow, so I so don't think we have enough money for the... Uh, so we're going to go ahead and close on up for day two. There's our daily stats. 24 satisfied customers. We had 130 store points. We did an income of 189. We had a supply cost of 115. So we took in a total profit of $73 today. And we have a balance of 197.88. So that's day two. I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you in day two. Thank you, and have a good day. Steady Claudio out.